Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, I haven't actually played this game in like three weeks now, I think. Um, just a bunch of other games kept coming up, so... Yeah, we're still where we were, which is in Turfield here. We've just arrived, we have to do the gym challenge. Uh, but before we do that, I'm gonna fly back to Wedgehurst. Uh, for a little bit. So we hit X, uh, we go over to the town map. The reason for that is because back here in uh, Wedgehurst, or to be more precise, Route 1, but Wedgehurst is the closest um, fly spot to it, you can catch a Wooloo, and I want a Wooloo, so we're gonna go back and get one. <laughs> because they're so super, they're super duper cute. There's one there, but we can't take that one. That one belongs to that other person. So we have to get another one for ourselves. So let's head back this way, Route 1. Okay, so we're gonna take a look here. That's a Rookie D, that's not a Wooloo. Uh, if we just take a look in the grass here and there, we should be able to find one. There's one. Yeah, let's go. I'm not sure whether like shiny Pokemon appear on the overworld or if you have to go into battle to see them. I'm guessing the, the latter because that keeps that sort of working the way it's supposed to, but I could be wrong. Okay, so, um... Cynthia's way too strong for this Wooloo, so to weaken it we might need to switch our Pokémon around a bit. Um... Hmm... They're all pretty strong though. Uh, let's try throwing a ball and just see what happens. Uh, if that doesn't work, well, we might need to go out and uh, switch our party around a bit. The, uh, the gym we're going to is a Grass-type gym, so... Oh, there we go, cool. We actually probably want to get a Fire-type Pokémon, um, to bring to it, so... Uh, we can look in our boxes and see what we've got. I think the only Fire-type we have is that Minecart Pokémon from earlier. Uh, I'll have a look once we get this done. If its fleece grows too long, Wooloo won't be able to move. Cloth maybe the wall of this Pokémon is surprisingly strong. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to give a nickname to the Wooloo, uh, hmm, let me think. Sean, Sean the Sheep. That's, 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 that's the one from, from, from Arben Animation, Wallace and Gromit. There we go. <laughs> okay, Sean has been sent to a box. Okay, that's what's going on. I have simple controls turned on when I'm using a pro controller, so the D-pad is actually working as the face buttons. It's weird. Like, it makes sense, but also it, it doesn't because it's a D-pad, it's not separate buttons. Anyway, um... We now have a Wooloo, uh, but we're gonna just jump into our uh, Pokémon here and swap them around a bit so we can get a Fire-type into our party. Uh, let's see, I think Carl is the only one we have right now. Oh, oh, Growlithe, we got the Growlithe. Hang on, level 11, hmm, level 18. I'm gonna bring both of those into the party just so we have some fire types to work with. Uh, I'll swap you with um, Raphael, there we go. And I'll swap, it's Drubbish. Drubbish is great. Uh, I forgot about Growlithe. Okay, let's see. Uh, Gareth, can you can go in place of, uh, Copernicus. There we go. Um, there we go, and let's go back to... You can swap boxes anywhere in this version, which is pretty cool. Um, they basically lifted that feature from whatever the previous game was. The Let's Go games do the same thing. Uh, and it's good. But you put the fire types at the top like that, so they can get some more experience. Everyone gets experience, but I think the ones who are actually fighting get more, so, yeah. Um, we won't get too much experience on Route 1, so I'm gonna fly us back to where we were. I keep accidentally using the D-pad, maybe I should turn off the simple controls mode, since I'm using two hands anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Route 4 and just, like, fight some stuff there to get experience. There we go. Route 4 has this cutie at the front. Look at that cutie. What a cutie pie. Wow, da, da. I wonder how you move the camera around in casual mode. Maybe you can't. Since the right stick does the same thing as the left stick. What is that? Pumpkaboo. Uh, alright. Go, Carl. 
level 16. I, I imagine a flame charge will hurt this a lot. It looks like it's probably grass type, but maybe bug. I don't know what type it is. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Super effective, so it, it probably is grass. Uh, let's, let's do it again. Let's do another flame charge. It's the only actual fire type move we have, so we're probably going to want to level up a bit and learn some more. Oh, use flame charge. There we go. Oh wait, I wanted to catch that. I haven't got a pump kaboom yet. Dang it. Oh well, we'll get one. We'll get one. Look at the next one. I think I saw another one on the other side of the um of the grass. <laughs> yeah, there's one over there. We'll get that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I'll flame charge again once and then throw a pokeball probably. See how that goes. Uh, yeah, it is super effective. That's what I thought. Rapid Spin and Tackle have no effect? What, what type is this Pokemon? Hang on. Is it like Ghost and, and Grass? It is Ghost and Grass. Okay, so normal type moves don't affect Ghost Pokemon at all. Because they're Ghosts and normal moves are like non-magical or whatever is the idea. But essentially every other type of move could affect them, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> a critical hit. Carl Speed Rose, Confuse Ray. Okay, so I'll catch this here, Pump Kaboo. Carl became confused. Okay, we'll try a regular Pokeball. We might need a Great Ball because the levels are getting up there a bit, but we'll see how we go. Nope, we're good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Natalie grew to level 18. Charles grew to level 19. <laughs> it is handy that Pokemon level up when you catch stuff. The light that streams out from the holes in the pumpkin it can hypnotize and control the people and Pokemon that see it. Um. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> um. I'll give you a nickname. I will call you Paprika, I think. I don't know why, I just think that's a nice name for a pumpkin. It's another... It's like a spice. I'm not quite sure what papri paprika is, to be perfectly honest, but it's some kind of sp spice that you can use in your food. Like a... Um, I, I know in, in Blue's Clues there's like salt and pepper and paprika. Oh! <gasps> Evie! Look at the baby! It's a baby! Little baby! Little baby! Oh, oh my gosh, I already have an Eevee because I did the, um, the, um, trade for the Let's Go one or whatever, but, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just, I'll just fight this one. But I mean, look how cute it is. Look at the little baby. Look at little baby. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at the, look at, look at the little floofs. Look at the little tail. Look at the angry eyebrows when it's doing a quick attack. Oh my goodness. I love you little baby Eevee. I'm gonna make you faint, but that's just because that's how the game works, okay? Okay, it's gonna be okay. Cynthia grew to level 23. Not quite what I had in mind, but that's okay. There's something over here, right? An ether. Yeah. I forget what ether does. A cleanse tag. That makes ghosts. No, it doesn't. It keep, helps keep wild Pokemon away if the holder is ahead of the party. Okay. I thought that was the one that boosts ghost type moves, but that's something else. Uh, that's basically like a semi repel you can use by equipping it to a Pokemon, which is kind of neat. Oh, hang on, I haven't actually had a battle with you yet. Um, hang on, how much strength am I? Mm, I might need to heal up. Just head down here at the Pokemon Center. Ah, <gasps> Diglets. I forget if I caught a Diglet or not. I think I did. Okay, so this was going to be me doing the gym challenge, but we're already 10 minutes in, and I think I should probably do some more grinding. So this might be me doing some grinding and meeting some Pokemon out there in the fields. If that's cool with everyone. I know you can't answer me because this is a pre-recorded video, but 
hopefully that's cool with everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Nurse Joy. I assume your name's Nurse Joy, because that's what all the nurses are named. Because they're like clones or whatever. Hello, Pokemart. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. da, 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 running to rat for da 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 There are some diglets on this route And pumpkaboos and also there's some stuff you can grab Off the ground over here There is a something To X accuracies I'll not ever use those things But that's okay Cause they are nice to have Found a pile of silver powder, I can boost bug type moves with it. Also, an Electrike is following me. Hello, Electrike. Do I already have one of you? I think I do. I don't know what your weaknesses are. Uh, like, you're, elec you're electric, obviously. Uh, you're not weak to fire. Hang on, what type of types is electric? Is water? Is water good against electricity, or is it the other way around? I always get the mix up. I think I think electric is strong against water because water conducts electricity, but like uh, water water moves aren't weak against electricity, which is why it's confusing. It's not like symmetrical. There we go. Goodbye, electric. Pokemon get experience points. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> is there anything over here? Yes, there is uh, an energy root. Can you use two? Because you're on 120 HP to a single Pokemon. Alright. Oh no, it's a Helmioth. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> what type is it? Like, Psychic or Ghost? Steel. Alright. If you say so. I don't know if I have this type of Meowth yet, so I'll try Flame Charge and hopefully, if that doesn't kill it, I'll try to catch it, but it might kill it. Okay, I'll try to catch it. If you scratch, talk very effective. Mr. Pokeball, and it will get caught, maybe. It did! Neat. Charmy Arth was caught! Pokemon gained experience points. Da, 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 da. Gareth grew to level 12. Gareth wants to learn the move Flame Wheel. That sounds pretty good. Let's forget an old move. Ember has low power. Flame Wheel is better though. Um, But it would be good to have both of them. So maybe drop one of these. Hmm. I'm gonna drop Leah. You know me, I never use any of these stat buffing or dropping moves. Nerfing? Buffing or nerfing? Debuffing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can have a nickname. Uh, let me think. I think... Did I already name someone Marissa? I don't remember. Just in case you can be Melissa instead. I, ha I have a Toho on the brain, apparently, but we'll go with Melissa. There we go. I keep pressing down on the D-pad to scroll down, but it still works because it counts as pressing the cancel button, which does the same thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. I haven't fought with you yet. Hello. Okay, now I say a wild Poke Kid appeared. Oh, that's cute. You were challenged by Poke Kid Sunny. Your name's Sunny. Oh, look at that little kid. I sure hope I can get that outfit. That's really cute. Milsery. I don't know what type Milsery is. Mil milk type? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what Milsery is supposed to be. It looks gross. Sweet scent. So maybe it's a bug? My evasiveness harshly fell. That's not really a problem. So I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sunny. I'm just uh, I'm I'm just better at this game than you are. I'm sorry. 
Oh, it's already over. Oh, you look so happy though. I, I, I guess I guess I don't need to apologize that much. 720 Poke Yen, eh? I dress like this because I want to understand the feelings of Pokemon. Oh, that's really sweet. That's really cute and sweet. Uh, let's just keep going this way. What's over here? Are you a trainer? I see. Even if Pokemon are in top shape, if the breeder is really just a beginner, it's tough to win. Well, I can see there's like a gold Pokeball over there, which usually means a TM, so I probably want to do... I do want to go over there, probably. Um, but let's have a bit of a look around here. By the way, apparently this game has the day-night cycle support, like the other Pokemon, so it actually uses, you know, the system clock. But it deactivates it until you finish the story, because time is supposed to progress in accordance with the story instead of something else. It's weird. Hello. What do you think? I look just like a Pikachu, right? You do! Oh, look at that cute Poke Kid. It's Shane! You were challenged by Poke Kid Shane. How do you train Senna? Yeah, Pikachu, that makes sense. Kind of weird that the one dressed as an Eevee had a Milsuri instead. Hmm. Uh, Thunder Wave, that causes paralysis, right? Sure does. I don't know if they've changed the, the stats on that, but in early games, Paralysis was like a 1 in 4 chance of, of not attacking. Um, I don't know if it's the same in this game or not, so... I'm guessing it probably is. I don't think that have like messed with how the basic status conditions work since they're in every Pokemon game. Experience points... Look at chain. Oh no! Pika! Oh no, I'm sorry, Shane. Oh no. I thought it'd be a really good strategy to distract you by having you think both the trainer and the Pokemon were Pikachu. That's an amazing strategy, kid. Keep it up, that's so cool. What does the glowing mean, by the way? Is it like unusually strong or something? A wild yamper. It doesn't look like it, it's just a yamper. As far as I can tell, anyway. Oh yeah, I'm still par paralyzed. We'll see how this goes. Use nuzzle. Oh, oh, oh! It does, it does damage. Okay. I thought it, I thought it was just like an affectionate thing. I'll use flame charge. Yeah, I'm not sure what the like sparkle effects around Yampa were, because it doesn't seem to be any different from a normal Yampa, as far as I can tell. I thought that might be like what a shiny Yampa looks like in the overworld or something, or some sort of like a clue to that sort of thing, but it didn't seem any different from fighting a regular one, so I don't know. It might mean they have like better... Oh, I gained 200W! Oh, okay, so they have what's in, is what that means. Okay, that makes sense. I guess. <laughs> um, I probably should go heal to get this paralysis off. And yeah, I'm just gonna spend this video hanging out in this field, I think. I hope that's cool with everyone. Uh, if it's not, sorry, but I can't really do a whole lot at this point because I've already made the video by the time you'll be hearing me say this. Um, maybe I should do a live stream sometime, just so you get a say in what I do. Hmm. I don't know, I like pre-recording videos, I like being able to play games just a whole bunch and then upload them at my leisure. Yes, take my Pokemon for a few seconds, there they all are in the box, ba da 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 <laughs> Thank you, I'm not paralyzed anymore now. Uh, Yeah, I'd like to give this a try. Oh no, I didn't get a match. I mean, it's not surprising. I have, like, like two dozen Pokemon, maybe? Let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
20, yeah, 20. Yeah, no, nowhere near enough to be able to, like, expect matches from the lottery thing. <laughs> uh, gotta catch more Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, in fact. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. A paralyzed heal. Oh, I can jump off. That was cute. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an Electric over there. Oh, oh, another Poke Kid. Appearing with a Pika? You were challenged by Poke Kid Reese. Reese, buddy, I. You look exactly like Shane. Are you like twins or. Uh, I guess maybe they're twins? Okay, Joltik, that's Electric Bug, I think. I don't know what bug is strong and weak against. I, I just got no idea. Don't suppose it matters. Super effective. I'm guessing fire is good against bug. No clue. <laughs> oh, level 13. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Grubbin, you have two Pokemon. Okay. Uh, Grubbin, that'll also be bug type, right? Like, it's, it's called Grubbin. Bamp. Goodbye, Grubbin. <laughs> I feel like there should be a button that shows you the typing chart, so you can just check, like, what all the types are and what the advantages and stuff are. I'm so downhearted. Oh. Like, at any time in a battle, you can just pop it up and be like, oh, okay, so this type is strong against that type, and not have to guess. <laughs> T or, you know, look it up on the wiki, which also works. Pin Missile, TM07, neat. Sharp spikes are shot at the target and rapids can hit two to five times in a row, neat. Okay, I'm getting swarmed by, by Pokemon here, so I should probably do something about that. Hmm, this minecart is not nearly as cute as a score bunny. That's a shame. Sorry, Carl. My, um... Fence, right? Yeah. Mm, no problem. I could really use a second fire type move. Flame charge is okay, but like I prefer to focus on power instead of buffing my speed. Also, it only has 20 PP, which is an all right amount, but when it's your only move, it's a little bit lacking. Gotta learn some more moves. Level 20, do, 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 do. wants to learn, ooh, Ancient Power, uh, yeah, what, let me have a look, Rock type, uh, attack to the Prehistoric Power, this may also raise all the user's stats at once, I mean, that sounds pretty good, um, I'm gonna drop Rock Polish and learn Ancient Power, because it's actually, it's still Rock type, but it actually does damage, and a decent amount of damage, actually, so, yeah, let's learn Ancient Power, one, two, and, ta-da! Carl forgot Rock Polish, and it learned Ancient Power instead. Pepita grew to level 19. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just gonna stand here and be accosted by more Pokemon. It's Meowth with a creepy face. <laughs> okay, I definitely have one of these Meowths now, so I'm just gonna use a Flame Charge. And I'm like level 20, so yeah, that's what I thought would happen. I can stand on this. Is there a reason to? Doesn't look like it. I guess I can just backtrack this way. Uh, did I fight that kid yet? I'm not sure. Hey kid. No, I didn't. I'm an Eevee. I'm full of possibilities. Oh, babe. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. You were challenged by Poke Kid Mia. Oh my goodness. It's Mia, everyone. This is, an, this is a crossover with my Ace Attorney playthrough that we're doing. So, so Mia's here now. She's, she's gonna be an amazing attorney. I believe in you, Mia. <laughs> uh, let's try Ancient Power. Like, I only have five of it, but I want to see what it does, and it's not ineffective against this character. Baby doll eyes? What's that do? Attack fell. Okay. Hmm. 
it's all right. I mean, it didn't raise any of my stats like it's supposed to, so it wasn't as good as it could have been, but it's all right. Might do it again. Pressing heavy fainted. Like, I assume the chance of actually raising all your stats is kind of low. Still cool to have, though. I'm sorry, Mia. You look really happy. Did they, did they not draw, like, a sad model for this character? I'm an Eevee. I'm downhearted because I lost. Look, she's wagging her tail. <laughs> Are you actually sad? I'm an Eevee. When I grow up, what type of Pokemon do you think I'll evolve into? Hmm. I bet you'll evolve into a Holy Glaceon. That's my guess. I look forward to it. <laughs> Revival Herb. A terribly bitter medicinal herb that revives a fainted Pokemon and fully restores its max HP. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Um. Did I already go through here? Yeah, I did. I want to make sure I didn't, like, miss anything. Pretty sure I've covered everything on this route at this point. Mm. Over, over here in the grass. Oh, yep, there's a repel. Good thing I had a look. <laughs> oh, these are them berry trees. Yeah, let's shake it. Ooh, uh, I'll give it one more try. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. You picked up the berries that fell from the tree. Nice. Uh, that's a really weird risk reward system, honestly. It probably should just consistently give you the right amount of berries for however many berries you're supposed to get. <laughs> did I fight you already? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's you! Oh, you're a cutie. Oops, oops, oops. <gasps> oh, it's you! Hello, Mil Milsery. Okay, I don't have one of you, so I need to I need to try to catch you. Um, let me see, level 13. Uh, I guess I'll try tackle, just because it's my worst move. It should do the least damage, in theory. Yep, that worked. You sweet kiss. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh. Oh, I got confused. Oh, am I confused about my feelings? Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Color's confused. Use flame charge. Don't die, don't die. Yes, that's more like it. <laughs> Aromatic mist. But it failed. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but it, I guess it failed. Let's get that. Milsery. I still don't know what Milsery is supposed to be, so I guess the Pokedex will explain it to me. Hopefully, in a moment. Click. Heck yeah. Milsery was caught. <laughs> Pokemon experience points, Charles Cruz to level 20 and wants to learn Spark. Yeah, that sounds good. You could use more electric type moves, right? Oh, maybe. Uh, I'm probably going to drop Raw. I have very little reason to use it. Or maybe Tackle. Hang on. What's Spark? 65. That's pretty good. Actually, it just sounds like a better version of Nuzzle. Like, it does the same thing. Oh no, no, Nuzzle has guaranteed paralysis, whereas Spark has a chance of paralysis. Hmm. I think I'll drop Roar and keep Spark and Nuzzle. Just because this Nuzzle's cute. <laughs> Charles forgot Roar and it learned Spark instead. Ba ba ba, da da da. Milsery's data will be added. Okay, so what is this? Cream Pokemon, type Fairy. They say that any patisserie visited by Milsery is guaranteed success and good fortune. That's really cute. Uh, yes. Um, let me think. Hmm, cream. Cream, cream, cream. I call you Milo because, yeah, because <laughs> it's a name, but it's also the name of a tasty milky drink. <laughs> uh, no, I actually didn't mean to do that. Uh. 
Go to a box. Da 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 da. Got a milsery in my party now. It's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna head to the Pokemon Center. Then I'm gonna probably actually do the gym challenge in the next video. I don't know what level I'm supposed to be, but I feel like 20 is probably good. Uh, and I have like a decent move pool at this point, I think. Let me have a quick look. Uh... Let's see, yeah, uh, Flame Charge is good, uh, Ancient Power is good, I don't know if it's good against, uh, Grass type, but it's good in general. Uh, Flame Charge will probably be good enough to get me through. Hmm. I don't know, I might do a little more grinding. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, but that's it for this video, I suppose. Um, I was intending to do the gym challenge, but we just leveled up a bit instead. Uh, I had a good time though, so that's okay. Uh, also. Yeah! <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, I'll just heal up again, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs> oh my goodness.